Hello FPR managers, today we talk about the knee jerk reaction for game week 10. In today's video, we look over the most transferred in and transferred out players so far this game week and make a recommendation to you guys as to whether or not you should go with the crowd and bring these players into your teams or release them from your squads. If you guys want to get the extra edge this FPL season, then click the top link in the description to get yourself 65% off Fantasy Football Fix Premium and also get yourselves our free strategy guide. So just before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to show support for the channel as we're trying to hit 7k subs by game 10 and also click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads and with that being said, let's get into the video. Beginning with the most transferred in place so far this game week, starting off with Ben Chilwell. Chilwell is coming off 12 points in game week 9 as he got himself a goal and a clean sheet against Norwich in Chelsea's 7-0 domination. This has meant that Chilwell has started the last 3 consecutive games to Chelsea as he does seem to be referred over Alonso recently. So at £5.8 million, if Ben Chilwell can keep getting minutes for Chelsea, he definitely will be a strong defensive option as he has been producing some great underlying numbers so far. In his last three games for Chelsea, he has got himself 35 FPL points as he is providing great threat at both ends of the pitch. Chelsea had a very high expected clean sheets figure for this game against Norwich, which was sitting at 0.72, and Chilwell had some decent underlying numbers from an attacking standpoint as well as he had two shots, one of which was on target, and also attempted one assist. So definitely after getting such a big hole in game week 9, and with Chelsea's good fixtures of Newcastle and Burnley in game weeks 10 or 11, he is definitely one for consideration. Moving on to Chilwell's Chelsea teammate in Mason Mount, he is the top scoring player in game week 9 so far, getting himself 24 FPL points. This came about as he produced 3 goals and 1 assist, as well as maximum bonus points in Chelsea's 7-0 win. This was actually his first start for Chelsea since game week 3 this season, and I definitely think he will be getting more starting minutes over the coming two matches against Newcastle and Burnley, so with this very strong short term fixture on, he definitely could be one as a differential punt. Also at 7.4 million pounds, he is fairly affordable, as he is obtaining some fairly decent attacking positions for Chelsea, and with the absence of Romelu Lukaku, he definitely could shine. Mason Mount ranked top for shots on target so far this game week with 4, and did have the 4th highest expected goals figure this week at 1.31, which is fairly impressive, and he had an all-round very strong performance. With an XG of 1.31, an XA of 0.4, and attempting 5 shots, of 4 of which were on target, as well as 3 attempted assists, he had an incredible game against Norwich, and with a fixture suit in the coming 2 matches, he definitely could be a nice choice. Moving on to Emil Smith Rowe, he's the third most popular player to come into the squads this week as he produced 13 points in game week 9. He was able to get himself one assist and one goal against Aston Villa at home and Arsenal 3 on in there and it's definitely looking to be good value at just 5.4 million pounds. Smith Rowe had some decent underlying stats this week with an XG of 0.24, AXA of 0.17, attempting two shots, one of which was on target and also having four attempted assists as well. He definitely has hard how he's got good goal and assist potential. Arsenal do have a mixed bag of fixtures to come up though, as they have Leicester, Watford, Liverpool and Newcastle as the next four opponents, so I definitely can see why he could be tempting for that game week 11 match against Watford at home, as well as game week 13 against Newcastle at home, but there isn't really too many reasons why you couldn't pick him up at just 5.4 million, as he is a very good value option. Looking towards the most transferred players this week, beginning with Romelu Lukaku, he was obviously out with an injury in game week 9, and that is why he has recorded 0 points. This has already seen over 150,000 managers move him on, as according to the FPL website, he still has an ankle injury with an unknown return date. So this of course will mean that he's going to miss most likely the next two matches of Newcastle and Burnley, before Chelsea's fixtures have a turn for the worst, but they face Leicester, Manchester United, Watford and West Ham as the next four. Also, Lukaku hasn't produced returns since game week four, so he is out of form currently, and at £11.5 million if you do have him in the squad, there's definitely no reason not to get rid of him, especially with the likes of Jamie firing. Alonso is another one that recorded 0 points in game week 9 as he couldn't take to the pitch as Ben Shaw was preferred over him for the third game in a row. So once again, if you are looking to free up a bit of cash, he is priced at £5.8 million and it could be worthwhile going for a safer option in that Chelsea defence such as the likes of Antonio Rudiger who is more likely to get minutes if you do want to capitalise on the nice short term fixtures of Newcastle and Burnley. And to cap off the transfers out, Abdoulaye Decore is the third most popular player to the part of the squads as he did pick up a foot injury. This did see him miss the entirety of Game Knight against Watford at home and he still has an unknown return that according to the FPL website so I can see why it's a good choice to move him on as at 5.6 million pounds there are definitely better options. You could go for the likes of Demario Gray or Townsend if you are looking for those Everton midfielders or even go up to the likes of any 6-7 million pound midfielder. 
Now progressing to the Gamic 10 transfer watch list, these are 8 players that we have identified as decent options for the upcoming game weeks based on the strong current form of good upcoming fixtures. The first player is Raul Jimenez who did produce an assist in Gamic 9 getting himself 5 FPL points and looks to be a decent shout at 7.6 million as that 7 to 8 million pound forward option. Wolves still have a decent string of fixtures but they face Everton, Palace, West Ham, Norwich and Burnley from now up until game week 14 so it definitely could be a good time to jump on their attacking assets as they have been looking fairly slow with Jimenez and Huang up top. Antonio Rudiger continues to be a strong option as his ownership is only sitting at around 15% currently and after recording 9 points in game week 9 it is definitely a good time to jump on him with Newcastle and Burnley as Chelsea's next two opponents. He has only missed one game this season and this was through injury against Brentford so I definitely think he is the most nailed Chelsea starting defender at the moment and since the likes of James, Azpilicueta, Chilwell and Alonso are all getting rotated he is definitely a safe pick. Phil Foden is also another one worth considering after getting himself 18 points in game week 9 as he recorded 2 Two goals and one assist. In his last four starts for Manchester City, he has got himself two goals and two assists, as has been great form for them. And Manchester City do face Crystal Palace at home in game week 10, which is another very good fixture. It looks to be that he should keep getting consistent starting minutes. And with these nice upcoming fixtures for City of Palace, United, Everton, and West Ham as the next four, it definitely could be a good time to jump on him, as he looks to be a nice pick at 8.1 million. There is another Wolves forward option on here in Huang Hee Chan as he got himself 8 points in game week 9 which has tallied up to 34 points in a very few amount of starts for him this season. So at 5.7 million pounds with decent upcoming fixtures, I don't see why he wouldn't be a good forward pick as he does look to be one of the best value options up top. Mason Mount of course after getting the hat-trick in game week 9 has to be on the transfer watch list as we will be looking to see whether he can keep getting starting minutes and keep getting his attacking returns with Lukaku out of the side. Ben Chihuahua is on the watch list once again as he got himself yet another double digit haul in game week 9 and could definitely be a great pick of 5.8 million pounds if he can keep getting starting minutes. Smith Rowe does feature on the transfer watch list once again after producing 13 points in game week 9 telling it to 40 points for the season for him as he has got himself 2 goals and 2 assists so far. So with the next 2 fixtures of Leicester away and Watford at home, he could definitely be a nice short term punt as that fixture against Watford at home in game week 11 is looking very enticing. And as the 8th and final player on the transfer watch list is João Cancelo as he only produced 1 point in game week 9 but was looking fairly threatening from open play as he did get himself a couple of shots on target. As I touched on before, Man City have some very good fixtures pretty much all the way up until game week 20 and he has been getting some very nice starting minutes so far for them this year, not missing a single minute and he is offering decent potential at both ends of the pitch so at 6.3 million pounds I definitely think he is worth the money. So that's what we've got for today for the new jerk reaction of Game Week 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to show support for the channel as we try and hit 7k subs by Game Week 10. And also click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads. And leave a comment what you guys thought of this video and what are your transfer plans for the upcoming game week. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.